Welcome dear colleagues. This is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. Let us observe this surgery. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome at the mid limbus. Now one side port is made on the left side of the main incision about 3 o'clock hours away an air bubble is injected and then tripan blue dye is applied over the anterior capsule. In this case the dye didn't touch on all parts of the capsule and as we wash the dye we see that there are some unstained areas in the anterior capsule. Visco is injected and the antechamber is filled up and now let us see capsulorexis. The anterior lip of the main wound must be lifted up to prevent leakage of visco. If we press the posterior leaf like this visco leaks out. So the anterior leaf must be lifted up if visco leaks out, we must inject visco again and then again go with the uterata forceps. The anticapsule is pierced by the tip of the uterata, a capsular tag is raised and the capsular tag is guided anticlockwise in such a way that we get a round rexis like this. And if we can master this technique, we don't need a needle to incise the anterior capsule in most of the cases. Hydrodissection is done. Hydrodissection has been done at multiple points in this case, but probably the capsulocortical adhesions in this case is more than in normal cases. So the nuclear rotation was not satisfactory even after several attempts of hydrodissection. So my next plan is to rotate the nucleus after entering into the anterior chamber with the FECO handpiece. Here it is. The handpiece is used to remove some superficial cortical lens matter and at this time the nucleus is rotated. Now the handpiece is turned, bevel is up towards the cornea and now watch direct chop. The tip is buried into the substance of the nucleus, the nucleus is held very firmly and then the nucleus is chopped like this. The nucleus is rotated and chopped another place. Again rotated and chopped at another place. Vacuum is 450 millimeter of mercury. Flow rate is 40 ml per minute. And ultrasonic energy being used is 60 percent. Whenever necessary, the vacuum is used to hold the large nuclear pieces and it is chopped into smaller fragments. We must see whether the antechamber is stable or not. If it is not stable, we must increase the bottle height or decrease the vacuum, do something to make the antechamber very stable. In this case we see that the most of the cortex has come out from the inferior part, only some cortex in the superior aspect is remaining. I am using a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula to remove the superficies to remove the cortical lens matter. Yes. And now the sub incisional cortex can be removed going through the side port. Or we can use a coaxial irrigation aspiration 
in this case there is only one side port so we cannot use a bimanual irrigation aspiration however hybrid irrigation aspiration can be done this is a hydrophilic acrylic monofocal intraocular lens the lens goes into the capsular bag the lens is dialed by the irrigating probe itself there is some visco in the lumen of the cartridge that comes out just by irrigation there is only one side port in this case the side port is closed by hydrating corneal stroma on either side of this stab incision and now a final lavage of the anterior chamber this is very important to have less incidence of tears the capsular bag is also irrigated any visco anywhere is removed very thoroughly the anterior chamber is formed very nicely and then the case is concluded thank you very much for your attention hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love respect empathy and great surgical competence